Yo, yo, what's good? It's your mans, your homie, Jay Netta, hell of a editor, Ron Predator, back at you with another God Level Reactions video. Another one. Shout out to all the new subscribers. This video is going to be an interesting watch, a little bit of a triggering watch. It is Will You Compete for Your Man? Will you compete for your man? Who is the real prize? This is this is this is one of those joints. This is one of those joints. Let's get it. Let's 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 fuck with this view right now. Let's Yeah. All right. Do women feel like they should compete for a man? Right to it. <laughs> no. Right no, to it. Not at all. That's Shout out to Daily Wrap Up Crew. Out here be the best guac giver or that like <laughs> <laughs> be the best at everything, the best his best everything and he will still go cheat on you with something less. So don't compete for that man. Why? Pussy. Wait, wait. I want to Notice how she soon she gets even my homie right there is like, yeah, what? What are you talking about? First answer is blaming the man as to why they shouldn't compete for the man. When we all know that everywhere on the planet, these are facts everywhere on the planet. There's more women than men. So y'all really need to compete for us because there's less of us. No, don't compete for that man. I got if a question. man loves you, I will. Wait, 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 wait. No. Why would I compete when I'm the prize? Who told you that? <laughs> Who gave you that piece of information? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? No. The prize. <laughs> as a what aspect? The, like. the prize in terms of you as a man you are nine out of ten. You're pursuing me. You mean by the look point. at that? No. Look at that. See, first of all, nine out of ten. Someone pursuing you doesn't mean you're the prize. I said this in another video, and I'm going to say this again. Things that are considered the prize or what gives something its value is how rare it is, right? So if there's less men than women, just by sheer numbers, who's the prize, right? And then when you talk about the type of man that you want, six feet, Six figures, good looking, works out. That brings the numbers down even more. It's like in America, I was looking up the numbers today. It's like 14% or 10%, something like that. I forget the numbers. But let's say 12% of men in America are over 6'2". That's 12%. So then you add in the fact that you may want a handsome man, right? That's going to shrink that down to maybe, who knows, 8%, 7%, 6%. Then you want somebody that makes those six figures. That might shrink that down to 3%. So who's really the prize? Oh, I mean, by the standard of what it is, I have never dated somebody that was more valued or cherishable like i'm not trying to be funny i'm just saying at the end of the day the people that i choose they're bad picks for real, for real. so 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 you already so come I'm on you already know you choose a bad picks exactly 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 okay but throwing interceptions but, but what i'm saying like come on come on so i'm not i'm not fighting for you i'm not playing no game <laughs> i'm the shit so i'm not I'm not fighting for you. I'm not playing no game for you. If you want to play the field, that's fine. We can both. Now, respectfully, respectfully, okay, if men choose women based, we, we, already, we already know what we do. So let, let me get right to it. She just said, I'm the sh. This is what she said. I'm the sh. So for me, that tells me that she's saying she looks the bomb. Now, to me, she's not an ugly person, but come on. To say you the shit, I don't even say I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so to say you the shit and you're not. And, and this is the mentality that these women run around with. Like, think for example, bigger women, women that are overweight women. And again, I, I know I may be saying this with like a sadistic undertone, but that's just because I'm in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a good energy, good vibe going. Or maybe I'm just sadistic. <laughs> <laughs> but um getting back to it when you have women that'll say i'm the prize but you're 300 pounds like or you wear too much makeup or you come with a lot of attitude or you come with multiple daughters i said daughters multiple baby fathers that are toxic in your life like that's not being the shit both 
play the field together. And and at the end of the day, when you sit down and you look at all your cards, if you decide it's not me, that's on you. That's your mistake to make. Mm. But what I'm not about to do your is sit here to and make. make a fool of myself and do this whole pick me, pick me thing for what? You see yeah. what I bring to the table in the yep. beginning. You know, you yeah, know. Yeah, but how a lot of times with what, what, what y'all be bringing to the table, it really don't be nothing. It's nothing special from what anybody else brings to the table like it like real talk i'm not i'm serious men tell me all the time oh you're a different type of woman you got what passion it, exactly you got smart you said what, they tell you that but we say that that's a lot of women you got smart what, you're what, funny what, 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 that's a good decent person you she just you got smarts you're funny that's not like wifey material that's just a good dude so a lot of my dudes shout out to the homie jeffrey he's funny he's smart he's supportive i ain't gonna marry the nigga Women usually hate that. Excuse me. Shit. So if I'd ask you what exactly is on this Do fucking you bring to table? The table? Yeah, exactly. I would tell you I'm the table. Anyway. I'm the table. I hate that answer. I'm tired of hearing that shit. <sighs> I'm just saying, though. I'm just, and, and I'm not. I'm what not does that mean? The, red flag, the table and the It's a huge <laughs> red flag. Because, because See, this comes from that whole that whole school of thought of thinking you don't have to change anything about yourself for a man to accept you, but he has to live up to all of these standards when that's BS at the end of the day. Like, if you have something wrong with your character, whether male or female, you should change that. Like, as a man, if you want to become a husband, you should move in the ways that a husband moves. As a female, if you want to become a wife, you should move in a way that a wife would move. If you want to be a man, you should be masculine, percent, present masculine qualities if you want to be a, if you are a female i shouldn't say want to be if you are a man you should present masculine qualities if you're a female you should present feminine qualities but that's not the prize that's just naturally how you are niggas don't know what that means but my thing is though that my thing is this though why do why should i have to prove my worth to you because i never i don't really ask anybody what? to do that for me seriously what the fuck are you doing that's the that's Not the thing me. about it it's like go, you choose to do why whatever should you i do. have to prove you? my worth to you this is what i'm talking about if you're talking about being with somebody because we're talking about competing for a man right so why should you not have to prove your worth, especially if he has options, especially let's say you get the type of dude that you want. You chasing the three percent of dudes, the six foot dude, the six figure dude. He got all the he got the abs. He got the whole nine, all that. You're chasing all of that. Right. And, you know, if you even get into the hemisphere of something like that. There's going to be other women that want the same thing. Why? Sh that's the reason you should show your worth. Because he has options. Duh. Are the one who hit me up. You decided to take me out. You wanted to make this into something. Now we're looking into it. But then it's, it's like. That's why dudes don't like. That just sounds like you have funny. stepping. I, you yeah. Yeah. have to. Funny. No, yeah. You gotta I'm half yeah. yeah. Because if you saying that. Well, I got to. Ain't no half stepping. Show you my work. I. Look, that means you're not showing me your full. Exactly. I'm my worth from the beginning. No, no. I only how you can you know what you attracted me to? Exactly. Right. You get okay. what I'm saying? So now you got to show me what's more. What's the oh, other yeah, shit exactly. that, that I need to figure out? Shout to the homies from the town, daily wrap up crew, yo. Real talk. Show me your worth. For us to do, because my thing is, I feel like a lot of the times what I see is like men want women to like embarrass themselves, basically to be like chosen. Like, no, I, what is embarrassing yourself? Like what are you talking that, about? That goes back to what Hitting I was saying. people walk to Brooklyn for cheesecake. That's embarrassing. What? <laughs> exactly. Wait, what? No, you said they, you said I want to know what she deems as embarrassing. I hope she doesn't. she's not about to say cooking, cleaning, running the family unit, or being submissive. I hope she's not about to say that or anything that re that's remotely close to feminine Qualities. No, so they they be doing that embarrass. Yeah, they yeah, want you to embarrass no, yourself. Like nah. people, people walk through Brooklyn for cheesecake. Walk to Brooklyn for cheesecake. Damn, that's, that's embarrassing. Man. That's embarrassing. What, 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 now, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Us, as a man, are you cook clean? No. That's embarrassing. No, that's normal. That's that's, that's that normal. Shit. No, I'm not saying that that's embarrassing. I'm saying like arguing with the next female or have somebody in your DMs talking about look at your man in my house like. They want that's it. those I, man, no, no. those are dudes that you're choosing those are dudes that you're choosing don't blame us for that those are dudes that you're choosing 
You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. This is, and this is what they do. This is what they do. They blame you, right? Or they project onto you what the last dude or the dude that they chose did to them. Like, come on, come on. Look, look at her. Look at her posture. She's she, she's already in a defensive posture. Boom, boom. Got the hands up. She's about to let him have it. She's she's shooting off at the mouth. Oh, I mean, men like to like, see that. Like they want to see how you will handle not me. being not come me, to as a how woman. Am I gonna, yeah, I'm nah, gonna I don't know. Slapping both of y'all if y'all both in there. Yeah, yeah, like that doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to play sides. Let me tell you something. I had a man that I was dealing with that actually had me. He would he wanted to have me in a situation where I was around another girl that he was fucking with. Okay. And that's how I knew a nigga was feeling himself too much. You smelling yourself. Because but you he, see, but she there's more to that story. There got to be more to that story. She ain't she ain't she's not telling the whole story. But at the end of the day, that's on you. That's on you. That's your choice. You even want to put me in that situation is like, who you think you are? Hugh Hefner? Hold on. Hold on. I've heard a quote about this. You know how they say behind every strong behind every strong man is a strong woman. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you have more strong women than they, you could become Thanos. Like, you could become Thanos. <laughs> I'm about to flip man, the table. No, no, no I'm just you saying. don't have to be over no man <laughs> no. because it don't matter how good you are at anything, how good of a you woman you are. I see his logic. I see his logic. How much peace you bring him, that man will still if go. If he don't do want you, he if he do, don't want like, to commit to that's you, that's all in him. First of all, I don't know. I can tell they're from the town. I can tell they're from the town. Brooklyn, Harlem, Queens, Bronx. they definitely from the town. Um, maybe Bronx, something like that. They definitely from the town, not Staten Island. Nobody's really from Staten Island, R- really. Like you know, Staten Island, they, they they call that the forgotten borough. But shout to Staten Island though. Like I got shout to my cousin on Staten. <laughs> not nah, but what if what if he want to do all of that but have other chicks? Like what's I'm, you I'm not even jacking If that. you want to do that, have other chicks, that's fine, as long as I can have other men. So if he's okay with it, then y'all can sign off. He's not going to be. But... I'm selfish. Yeah, what, but what, sure. You meet a guy that something that they know he's not gonna accept. Yeah, but if I met a guy that was like, "Oh yeah, cool, I'm a hoe it up," and you know, I can't actually embody what it is to really be a hoe, but you know, I'll say it back just to be on some. You're not about to yeah, run yeah. all over me. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying maybe say, like no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say if you no. got the goods. Say if you got the goods, mm-hmm. but he mm-hmm. got a girl and a side chick. He's not going to turn down his girl and side chick and be like, nah, I just want to be with you. He's going to say, I want to keep my girl, my side chick, and I want you to good cheese. It's no reason that I would even be dealing with a nigga that had a girl and a side chick. It's no reason that I would even be in a situation. Come on, more money makes you more valuable, right? You have more value if you have more money, right? I mean, to certain people, Exactly, more options. I see what he's saying. I don't care about that, Tay. Let me have this. I've been in a situation where I was was in a full-blown relationship, and this man had a whole double life, like, for me. And I'll have to be like, when I when I finally deaded it because the girl came out of her face and that's how I found out. When I finally deaded it, he was still trying to be in my life. And I was like, bro, like, what do you want me for? You're not slapping. You haven't been slapping. So the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, <laughs> why do you keep calling me to just talk to me? Like, just telling why me Why are you entertaining it? Clearly it's something more. See, why are you entertaining it? And I guarantee you that dude offered a, a, a certain benefit to her. Whatever it was, he offered that benefit to her. So she's keeping him around. Why not block his number? I'm not going to say change your number because that's a bit drastic. But why not block his number? For me? Yeah. But to me, it's like, for what? For what? I can call somebody else. What are you have, still calling me Have you me ever for? liked more than one person at the same time? Yeah. I was I was say, I I so... See that now they won't compete for men, but they just admitted that they have liked more than one person at the same time. Wouldn't those two people that they liked have to compete for them unless they taking them both down? And according to them, they not doing that. So. So, which, so what y'all saying is that women shouldn't compete for a man. No. The man should compete for the woman. Exactly. Well, I just said though. I swear I and I didn't I didn't see this video. I just said that. Competing at all. I feel Shout like to Daily like Rapper. You and you like me and we have the mindset that we're going to make something serious happen and that's what it should be. I feel like it shouldn't be no game. She said if I like you and you like me, but if you're just meeting somebody the only thing you have at that point is attraction. There's no, I don't even know if I want to take it that far, especially if I just met you. What are you, what are you talking about? Come on, come on, respectfully, respectfully, ma'am. It shouldn't be no competition. We it's could be casual. Though, I'm not lie. It could be, you know, it could be casual. It could be a fling for a while. It could be a dating to turn it into something serious. But like, in terms of like, you want me to go head to head with the other bitches that want you? I mean, no, the only, but no the one's only thing gonna that say I, that. I gotta say about this topic is that usually 
most women have a list of demands that they want in a guy, right? Mm -hmm. Usually when you ask women, yo, what kind of guy you want? He usually got to be six feet, dark skin, <laughs> I make a hundred packs. Definitely got to uh, be six uh, feet and up. Got a hundred racks, got to have a six pack, got to have cars. Definitely six feet and up. They want so that 3%. You heard of. Type of. This quality of man. I've dealt what? with multiple men that didn't have cars uh, and et cetera. All right, but I'm saying most women want these What you want. We didn't ask what you want. It's what you want. It's what you want. Most women want these types of men. So y'all don't feel like y'all got to compete for those men? Exactly. I, and I, I just said that. The women I just said that. Ninety percent of women want the ten percent no, of, of men. Ninety percent of women I'm want the ten percent. So y'all all competing with, with each other. In that case, no. See, in that case, when you're right. dealing with a man that's like up here, and you know, I just you're said that. Y'all want? You're not up there. I'm up there with him. Stop the cap. <laughs> But so you gotta compete you, for him nah, because there's other women like, that's right here, Yo, exactly, here, here. exactly. I'm gonna nah, let you go. Yeah, I'm like if here. you're like up here and he's What's trying really to put the... you up here, sometimes you just gotta mind your business and look the other way. Respectfully, like <sighs> he's taking care of you, he's making you happy. Just mind your business. Boom, mind. You see what I said, fellas? Mind your business. That's the key. That's the key. Become a hundred thousand dollar man. Become a hundred pack dude. You could do whatever you, you see. And she's a pretty girl. She said, you just got to mind your business. He's taking care of house and home. Mind your business. Okay. Everybody's got a price. There's nothing you could do about those other women. That that comes down back to him. And yeah, look how the other one's smiling. Him, look how quiet the other one got. What do you That's want a guy? Okay. You don't have to do too much for a guy. You what you it gets deeper. It gets deeper. We're going to probably end... Probably. We're ending the video right there. Check them out. Daily wrap up crew. That's the homies. Check them out. They from the town. But as you can see from this video, there's a double standard kind of going on here where you don't feel like you should have to compete for us, but you feel like we have to compete for you. But at the same time, if the man meets your standards, if he's that man that whatever your standard is, the hundred thousand dollar man, the six foot dude, he meets your standards, then you are willing to not only compete, but look the other way. And I only think I mentioned it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is Jay Netta, hell of a editor, R R R Ron Predator. Know somebody better, bruh? Tell him to set it up.